Good morning, love train. How are you doing? <laughs> I hope everybody's doing great. I have a new tripod that Trisha gave me that I am working with, experimenting with. I've kind of like suction cupped it to the mirror. I think uh, it's pretty good. I like it. Um, so there's some exciting news. Bethany Gonzalez of of Gia's Healing Gifts has designed a perfume for us. Isn't that so cool? Um, you guys remember that giant box I got in the Love Train letters um, of just like essential oils and perfumes and stuff like that. She has made a perfume and a little essential oil um, of a scent called Love Train and it's just for us and you can find it uh, at Gia's Healing Gifts.com you can order some of it if you want to I'll go ahead and put a little linky link in the description box below um, yeah I'm definitely gonna order a bottle so I'm excited about that I just can't believe somebody like was inspired by me to design a perfume that kind of stuff only happens to Lady Gaga and Britney Spears so I'm feeling pretty good today that's pretty cool I mean if it's good enough for Lady Gaga and Britney Spears it's good enough for me so <laughs> Uh, I have texted a couple friends. I don't really know who's available today. I'd like to, you know, hang out with somebody before I go to work. So, we'll see what happens. Oh, I decided to walk to Publix. The scooter is still starting, but it's like having like a hard time starting. So, I don't know. We'll play it by ear. We'll see how it goes. You know, hopefully there's nothing seriously wrong with it. If there is, I'm obviously going to have to take it into Bob, have him look at it, have him fix it up. Um, my scooter's just kind of at that point in its life right now. It's been 20,000 miles, <laughs> and so it's, you know, starting to need, like, repair work, you know. That's just a normal thing with scooters that have gone that far, you know, and mine is just like that, <laughs> and... Oh, it's just unfortunate. I'm trying to save money to move back to Nashville. I only have, you know, seven or eight months to save up, you know, so I'm like putting all my energy into that and just like having these things happen, like my computer breaking and then somebody vandalizing my scooter, you know, and then I just hope my scooter is not like broken right now because like I just can't keep spending money on this stuff. But anyway, that's what's on my mind. I'm walking to Publix right now to cash a paycheck and to maybe grab a bite to eat before I go to work. I don't know what I'll eat. I guess it just depends on what I can find there. So I just got home from Publix and I found this in my door. It says Scooter Tech and then it has his phone number and it says he will come to you. I'm wondering if somebody didn't see me like struggling to like start my scooter and maybe thought, you know, I will, you know, like leave this note out and help her or something. Honestly, I give all my business to Bob at Sarasota Scooters, so anytime my scooter needs anything, I just call him. He's like more than happy to, you know, help me out. Um, so I probably won't be using this guy, but thank you to whoever left this. It was very thoughtful of you. I think my scooter will be all right. I was just able to start it when I was out there, like before I went to public, so. Hopefully everything's okay. I can't handle another thing going broken right now. But uh, I'm gonna have some lunch because I got some great stuff from Publix. And yeah, let's just fix up some lunch, shall we? Well, I've been talking to my YouTube buddy, Jenna Grosh, all afternoon long on Facebook. So, Thanks for that conversation, Jenna. I sure did appreciate it. But now it's time to go to work, and I am going to see if I can show you what sound, if I can show you guys what sound this scooter makes when I try to start it. Maybe it's a fluke. Maybe it won't do that again. Hang on.
Let's see. Okay. So I've got the brake depressed. I flick the switch for the kill switch. It is in the on position. And nothing. Oh, wait. What the hell? There it goes. What's wrong with my baby? So, work is over, and I met up with Tommy here at Made in Italy. There he is. He's self conscious because y'all have never seen his bald head before. Nice head! <laughs> I got, a, I got a ponytail. I got a, I got a ponytail. You do. You've got like a yeah. natural ponytail. And I, I got a, I got a, I got a trim today. Cool yeah, look at his beard. Look how fresh it's looking. I trimmed it up. I have a date. Hey, you know I have a date tomorrow with a beautiful girl. Oh no! You gotta no, do you the chalk on that a little bit. And then uh, we found Lorraine, and Stormy. she's here with, with her doggy. What's your dog's name? Stormy. Stormy. Yeah. So cute. Oh. Love that harness. Love that harness. Yeah. <laughs> and we're discussing scooter rides because we don't know where to go for our and next you know one. Where I just came from. Where'd you Where'd white you get buffalo. those? Oh, the white well, buffalo. Just, yeah, I've been, I've been blind dancing since five o'clock. Oh. Did that's, you learn any new ones? That's oh shit. That's all I did. That's oh shit. Oh shit. That's oh shit. Oh shit. But that was that was. <laughs> History of joy. <laughs> Drunk history of Joyland. Drunk history of Joyland. No, it's just a little tidbit about Joyland. Joyland okay. is in Bradenton? Is that yes, what you said? It's okay. in Bradenton. Uh, Joyland, before it became Joyland, was. Uh, right. Are we starting over? Yeah, well, oh. yeah. Cut! Alright, start over. Alright, so. Start over! <laughs> Oh, you gotta have that in there. You gotta have that in there. Yeah, I did. Oh, the, the hot points, you know. Uh, Alright, so Joyland was not always Joyland. Now it's become a country bar, you know, dance place that it is for line dancing. But back in the day, it was two separate bars. Uh, I can't really remember the names of them, but uh, I used to go there for uh, hardcore shows. Because one side was like really redneck, and the other side was really progressive. And uh, we would have hardcore shows in the one side. I I performed there when I was younger many a times uh, with uh, some of the bands that I was involved with playing bass uh, before I started playing synthesizer. Uh, and it was it was it was a fucking blast. Pardon my French. Uh, but it was it was incredible. It was a great time. I loved it. And now it's funny to see that it's become a big uh, line dancing warehouse. <laughs> it's, 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 it's really funny to see that now. Because it's totally different than what it actually was. <laughs> I love it. Like, when I used to live in Nashville, we had the Wild Horse Saloon. And it was like free line dancing lessons. And those of you who were young in the 90s and watched CMT, you might remember that they had that line dancing show. It was kind of like Soul Train, except for with country music and line dancing rather than like soul music. So, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like that. And that's where Lorraine just came from, right? Yeah. 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 Get boots, get boots in there. Yeah, get look. I got him already, I think. I'll get him again. All right, guys. So. I was on my way home, but I couldn't get the scooter started, so I've stopped, and uh, I'm here on Tamiami uh, 41, which is the main road, which is very well lit, and I am doing what is called in the bike world a heavy walk <laughs> back to my house because I believe that my scooter battery is dead or dying or just not enough to start the machine. So what I'm doing right now is I am huffing it all the way back to my house. I, there's only a couple more blocks left, you know, I'm not very far from home at all. So, but uh, <laughs> it's tough times, tough times in the scooter world. <laughs> and um, it's gonna be just fine. It's like a nice flat plane 
like all the way from here to my house so that's good and the scooter has been relatively easy to push this thing weighs about 250 pounds so I'm glad that like I'm a walker and I go on walks like a lot because otherwise I probably wouldn't be able to handle this this is the second heavy walk that I've done um, since I've had this scooter and uh, it's gonna be alright we're gonna make it <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to go to Bob tomorrow and get a new battery that is for sure yeah so um, I will catch you when I get home alright guys so I did make it home Whew. and I'm sweating and uh, it's crazy that is uh, wow it's been a long time, it's been years since I've done a heavy walk with my scooter like that. Oh my god. And uh, wow, I'm right handed of course so I have to have the bike on the right hand side of me which is where all the kickstands and the kickstarters are and everything like that. So I'm sure the back of my right shin tomorrow is just going to be like bludgeoned with bruises because my leg just like smacked against them so many times. <sighs> Let me tell you, if you're a scooter owner, it is a spiritual experience to have to heavy walk your bike anywhere you know cuz it's all you and like it's a flat plane so the bike picks up momentum and it's like aside from pushing a 250 pound bike down the sidewalk you also have to keep up with the speed that it creates so you're like speed walking while pushing a very heavy object <sighs> Like, I'm just so glad that I got through it and I was able to get home. It really, like, it seems funny, but it is, like, it means a lot to me that I didn't leave my scooter downtown. I mean, like, your scooter honestly becomes, like, a friend, you know? And if your friend was drunk and in a bad way downtown, you wouldn't just, like, leave them on the street or, you know, along the curbside or whatever to just sleep there overnight. You would take them and haul them home, you know, which is what I did for my scooter tonight. <laughs> Needless to say, I will be calling Bob in the morning about my battery because ultimately I think that that's what it is. The battery is from 2009, <laughs> so it's probably the battery. That's what I'm going to guess. So, oh gosh, what more could just break for me this week? Seriously. Something else? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe next my apartment will catch fire? I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm going to sign off because I'm exhausted. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And jump on the love train with us. Woo woo! We have some hard times around here sometimes, but it's okay. Uh, also, follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash lilhipster. You can also find me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. And with that, I'm going to pass out from exhaustion, all right? So everybody have a great night, and don't forget to eat your fruits and vegetables, because you'll need them. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.